Hey there, Boots Owen here. I just thought I'd show you where washing machines come from. I noticed this when I was walking down the street and I've doubled back to have a look. While I'm here, let's have a look in there. There's cables in there. Cables are good. Filthy. Chopped off something. Fridge maybe. The baby is asleep almost. That's why I'm out for a walk because I've done a school drop off. And now a service 8kg 1500 spin. It's quite a powerful little machine. Filthy, rusty, taped together, top hanging off. Uh, hard to know. It's full of water. Let's see what's in the filter. With a key, or some other such. Doesn't want to open. Let's try a different key. Weird. Don't often get this. Service model. There you go. Some details. Let's have a look. Oh, it's really stiff and it's going to be full of water because, yeah, look at that black. Black often means there's a hair clip. Oh, yuck. It's gone in my hand. We're in now, so get me a 30. So that's pretty grim, it's draining down. The point was, anyways, people say, where do you get washing machines from? Well, in the back alleys between houses, there's a cafe over there. People just leave stuff out. And I'll show you up around the corner in a second. While I'm at it, I might as well make a few filter videos. This is full of stuff. Come on. Get out of here. It's not getting any cleaner. Oh god, that's filthy. Gross filter of the month. But that's where it is, so that's a filter video. How to change the filter on a, or how to clean the filter. It's made service UK. It might have been made in England this one. Gross, right. So while I'm here then, on the journey. So what would it be? Half eight, nine in the morning? Nine in the morning, roughly. There's another cable there for something. Washing machine cable's been cut. So... Something like a washing machine will be picked up by a scrap man straight away. But something like a... Fridge just won't be because nobody wants a fridge. So So legally speaking all this is fly tipping, but it's outside the back of someone's house, so it may have belonged to that house. Or maybe a neighbour just left it out. Legally speaking, it's all fly tipping. But because scrap man will go along with a van and fetch things like that. I think the council, I don't know that they turn a blind eye to things like washing machines and stuff, but I don't think they, they don't like fridges because they have to go and collect them. So it's a mixed bag really. I'll show you just up here, another alleyway, past some bins. And around the corner. This is the one I saw first and then I decided to double back and I thought it was worth making a video of. This is a LG and a bike and the bike is in bits. The back axle's removed by the looks of it and I don't know what's wrong with that. But this is an LG, missing some of its logo. I can't see a name on it there, there'll be one here. So what I'll do while I'm back here 
because it's missing its door and all as well there's no point in trying to there's no fixing in it really it's a silent machine so it hasn't got a standard motor so it's harder to fix but I think it doesn't sound too bad. I don't know. Something's a bit weird about it though, because that door seal is not right on there. Let's just have a look at the filter on this one. F1222TD down here. Need my keys. This one's a lot cleaner. This one has a little hose. Oh, I'm going straight. So that one just twists and turns. Is there any money? I don't see any, unfortunately. So that's a quarter turn, not even a quarter turn, just as quick. Eighth of a turn, maybe, for that LG one. It's strange that the door is missing. But there you go, 10 year warranty. It's quite a nice machine, that actually. If it had a door, maybe it's just left out because the door's gone. A couple of scrapes on it and whatnot. It's cleaner than that service. So, so that is where these things come from, and in five or six minutes, it would take a lot less if I wasn't waffling. In five or six minutes, on a journey that you make every day, just by varying the journey slightly, there are washing machines. Now it is kind of odd, let's say, that I would find two, just like that, but uh, you know, you never know. You never know what day you're gonna find them. And they just appear. And so this is a bicycle. Bike's only good for parts. Bicycle, two washing machines, a fridge that nobody wants, and a microwave. And that microwave, who knows what's wrong with that? But there's scrap in a microwave as well. Microwaves have transformers that are fun to play with if you're so inclined. And I know I've got a little stack of them at home, which is part of my part of my fun. And there's nothing glamorous about like walking home this way, but the thing is, babies oftentimes will go to sleep. There's something else down there that I think is like metal legs off a chair or something. Babies will often go to sleep, is what I was saying, if they're on a bumpy road. So, there you go. That's where we are, out to the other end. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later. So it's about two or three hours later and I'm just going for a walk and I happened to be going the same way and I thought I'd come through and just check if it's still there. And it is, but you see, the fridge, I can't remember if it had a compressor because it was lying over the other way, but there's definitely no compressor on it now. And somebody has opened up the microwave and taken the transformer that I spoke about earlier on out. They didn't want anything else, just the transformer, which as far as I'm concerned, has a limited value, but you know, I cut the cables off, someone else takes off this. They've opened the washing machine, so let's just have a look in there. They haven't taken anything out of it by the looks of things. Maybe they've taken the motor out and turned it over and put it back, I don't know, but I'm not going to look. So there you go, a bit of an update on what's going on. This is all happening in the space of a few hours. Thanks for watching, see you later.